What's up guys, Jake's Cobra here with another Armor 3 Eden Editor tutorial. Um, just to bring you up to speed, if you haven't seen my other videos, we managed to set up the player slots, set up the player respawn, set up the arsenal, we set up a Zeus slot, we have a gate that opens and closes by itself, uh, we've got a helicopter repair pad, we've got a fixed wing or plane uh, repair pad and we have a vehicle repair pad so what I want to look at to now is basically how to have your vehicles respawn and I do apologize for the background noise I'm renting and there's a lot of noise around here I apologize for that anyway so let's go and see how we make vehicles respawn and that's actually quite simple to be honest so we're going to go systems we're going to go oops can't spell respawn vehicle respawn you put that down you right click on it connect sync to sync to whatever vehicle you want to be able to respawn you can put multiple of these and let's do that because i want to show you the different ways you can actually have it respawn um respawn right click connect sync to okay so we've got a vehicle helicopter and a plane let's start with the plane we're going to say resp double click on it type no no wait, whoa, whoa i took the wrong one here <laughs> vehicle vehicle uh, i took the wrong one there okay let's okay let's try again double click uh how far can you be from the vehicle without the vehicle respawning now this is basically to stop the vehicle from oh, your map having 20 vehicles standing around and there's nobody close by so let's make this 1.5 kilometers position where must it respawn starting position now this is a random or a very vague way of saying a starting position then there's a position selection now this will normally be the n the oldest position because that is going to be where the vehicle originally was okay delete the wreck of an explosive effect notifications let's enable this one we've i never allow forced respawn on vehicles and respawn the vehicle when it's dis disabled that you can decide enable or disable normally it's disabled because you want them to repair the vehicle on the field not just to respawn it and yeah how long is going to wait let's make it 30 seconds just for the purpose of uh, this video um, this one here let's go starting position uh, decision 1500 uh, delay 30 seconds starting position we're going to say newest position uh, delete with an explosion effect notification this is to enable you or let you know that the vehicle has respawned and take the last one uh come on double click delay 30 seconds desertion this in one five double oh uh st where it was destroyed default respawn marker you can you can have vehicles respawn in specific specific areas so let's go where it was destroyed i just want to show you some different options uh position selection all this delete of explosion notification able okay let's go that way now what this will do is basically when one of these vehicles get destroyed within 30 30 seconds it will create a new vehicle where it was lost so except for this one this one is where it was destroyed okay these will respawn where they originally were so let's go and test this out and show you that it works um, this is very handy if you have like a public server where people like me don't know how to fly and we tend to crash quite a lot so instead of having a Zeus uh, around maybe you don't have a Zeus around uh, maybe you're creating a single player mission um, then you don't have a Zeus to spawn in vehicles so uh, let's oh wait, wait, wait let me change my slot easier to destroy the vehicles if i'm an 80 soldier uh, missile specialist there we go okay let's 
go back in remember there is a way for the very first time you spawn in to take this away we don't select but i'll show you that sometime still in the future okay now let's drive this vehicle somewhere remember this is uh i've 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 changed all the different ways of they're going to respawn so you can see the different ways okay so let's drive this away get out of this vehicle let's cheat a little bit going to Zeus teleport ourselves here hmm? doesn't give me teleport oh, I'm so used to uh, there is a teleport I'm pretty sure of it Mm. Anyway, <laughs> let's go out of Zeus again. I can't remember how to do it without Achilles, uh, which is a mod for Zeus. So let's run away, get our launcher. Let's rearm that so long. With these BMCs, you have to be a little way out. Just lock onto that thing. Uh, let's hope we find enough. There we go. Vehicle's been destroyed. Let's wait 30 seconds. And where that vehicle has been destroyed, it should create as a new vehicle, if I remember correctly. That's how we set up that one. That's a explosion effect where it deletes it. okay <laughs> they respawned okay so there's the vehicle that we just uh, demolished and it respawned on the place where it was destroyed so let me go and do my bad flying again now remember this one we said to respawn on the starting position so let's go and see if this works Oh, my man is so tired. Get in the chopper. Now let me show you how bad a pilot I am. <laughs> Let's find a place to crash, guys. This looks like good a place as anywhere. Okay. <laughs> Kamikaze. Okay, that was loud. <laughs> anyway, so let's respawn. And we should have the chopper in 30 seconds to respawn as well at its original position. And we should get a notification also that the chopper has respawned. Now normally I don't leave the notifications on. There we go. Chopper respawned. Pony respawned at grid. And then the grid location you see. There it's back. Now with the airplane I think I switched off the, the notifications. So let's go find a place to crash this. Oh wait. I don't have to crash this. You, you s Oh I'm not going to Zeus. Uh, y you've you've seen what um, what the difference are between the new and old location so let's just go and we're gonna destroy the airplane quickly reload I 
think I'm still too close. Let's hope I'm far enough. There we go. Plane destroyed. It's destroyed because I love shooting rockets. There we go. Okay, so 30 seconds. Plane should uh, respawn as well as that vehicle. So this is how you get vehicles to respawn on your server. Put in your respawn marker, say how long it must take. There we go. Plane has respawned. And that one should respawn soon too. It's only a couple of seconds apart. There we go. Okay, so you've seen the difference between the, the settings and stuff. So that's how you get your vehicles to respawn. Um, very handy on a public server then obviously you're just going to make the vehicles respawn a bit longer in between the respawns instead of 30 seconds let's say the helicopters they will have to wait five minutes for the airplanes they have to wait like 10 minutes for vehicles can be like five minutes whatever just idea but guys i hope that helped you remember if first time you have bash the subscribe button bash the like button if this video was helpful and you like my videos and as always guys enjoy armor enjoy making your missions see you in the next video cheers